Hey everybody, Aaron at Warmoth, and today we are talking bass guitar. So today I have this killer bass to show off. It is a J bass replacement body, obviously. Uh, it has an alder core, and then the top is quilted maple. This is yellow dye, and then the back is trans yellow. And it has kind of a weird control layout. It's got independent volumes for each of the pickups, and then a tone knob, and then you can switch between the pickups with this three-way switch. It's got a Godot 201 bridge, and then the neck is a Warhead bass neck, and it is roasted maple, and it's got our standard uh, neck profile. The pickups are a pair of Seymour Duncan quarter pounders, and these things do pound. This bass is a beast. <laughs> And I often get asked why I don't do more bass videos, and there's really two reasons. One, I'm not a good bass player. I'm, you know, I'm totally competent. I, I play bass uh, when I write songs at home. I play bass all the time. But to just sit and noodle on the bass, I got no kung fu, you know, so it's not great to watch. The other reason I don't do a lot of bass videos is because they never get watched. Um, you know, when I was at home during the COVID shutdown, I did 30 videos from home. And I did videos of full songs. I did videos just showing off individual instruments. I did a bunch of videos just sitting there talking with my, with my mug. And I did a video of me playing a bass that had a Paduke neck. And I even like wrote a drum part for it and I played this groove along with the drums. So of all those 30 videos, guess which one got the least views? So people would rather watch me just sit and talk with my mug than, than play bass. So maybe, I don't know, maybe that's, that has to do with how well I play bass. Now don't get me wrong, I love the bass guitar. When I'm writing songs at home, uh, writing the bass line and recording it is one of my favorite parts of the whole process. And I have so much respect for guys who can do that well, but it got me thinking, why do bass players get no love? And I really think it boils down to how obvious what they're doing is. For example, guitar players, the things they do are obvious. You know, the fast playing and the, and the flashy techniques and the bombastic stuff. It's like in your face and obvious. But the things that make a good bass player are very, very subtle. For example, note choice. You know, the bass players wield all the power when it comes to deciding what kind of song it is. For example, if a bass player plays, you know, a country bass line, then it's a, it's a country song. No matter how much crazy stuff the guitar player puts over the top of that, it's a country song because the bass player said so. And if the bass player plays, you know, eighth note rock rhythm, like, Then, then it's a rock song because the bass player said so, or, you know, finger style funk. That, that defines the song, and, and no matter what the other instruments do, the bass player has said this is the kind of song it is. Another thing that's very subtle that bass players do it has to do with timing and the way they sit in the pocket and how they work the rhythm to, to make the song move forward. And, how they use silence, you know, how they know how to give the two and the four to the drummer. And, you know, a good bass player can create this little moment of silence on the two and the four for the snare drum to pop through. But all that is very subtle and most people don't appreciate it. And, and, and you know, that, that's another part of the reason why bass players don't get the accolades they deserve. And I acknowledge all that, and my hat is off to, to good bass players. It's way harder to be a good bass player than it is to be a good guitar player, in my opinion. And it takes a, a certain kind of personality to be willing to step into that role and, 
freaking own being a bass player and then get no love for it really. So again, hats off to you guys. But the fact remains that one, I still suck at bass and two, bass videos get no clicks. So, but, uh, you know, but if we can, if you can accept my limitations and I can try and improve my limitations, then maybe we can meet in the middle and there can be harmony between musicians. Anyway, that is a lot of me rambling. I don't even have my mug to hide behind. Thank goodness I have this awesome bass to hide behind. Um, now I'm going to try and play a little bit on this bass so you can hear what it sounds like and then I'll sign out. So let's see what I can come up with here. And those are my thoughts on bass players and playing the bass. And I'm curious to find out whether you agree. Do you think I'm, I'm on point with that or you think I'm talking out the side of my head? Make sure and tell me in the comments, but be nice. So I hope you enjoyed my thoroughly mediocre bass playing on this very cool bass. And until next time, wash your hands, be kind to each other, and keep on picking.